Hello everybody, Kristen Roque here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Broadway Limited collection. So to start off, we have the Paragon 3 Norfolk and Western Class A, number 1218. This is a locomotive built by the Roanoke Shops in 1943, and I bought this one off of Train World. And this is the glossy museum finish, and that's how it looks today. And that's why I got it, because it's the remaining road number, and it's... How, and it's the style as it looks today. And this is a really good runner. I mean, I'm really loving this engine, except it actually makes a grinding noise when it reaches a speed of over 50 speed steps. And I recently lubricated the gears, but it still makes that grinding noise. But at least the lubrication will prevent any premature wear. But other than that, the engine runs really good. And I'm loving it. Next is my Paragon 4 Union Pacific FEF3, number 842. And this one was built in 1944 by Alco. And you see, I didn't get a 44 because it doesn't have the Mars light. So I got a 42 and it was off, it was on the Broadway Limited refurb store and I got a good deal on it. And I got this one because it has the Mars light and the FEF3 looks better that way. And it runs exceptional. I mean, I'm really loving this model. Great runner, very nice looks. It's a really good engine. Next is my Paragon 3 Milwaukee Road S3, number 261. And I got this one because it's one of the remaining road numbers and it's the one in service. And here and there, this engine may have momentary pauses like, it cuts off for like a split second and then it powers right back up. It's a thing with Paragon 3, really. But nonetheless, it's a really nice model and it runs, and it runs fine. And I bought this one from eBay back in May of 2020. And this is my second ever Broadway Limited locomotive. Next is my Paragon 3 Santa Fe 3751. It's a good looking engine. And this one actually came from someone on the Broadway Limited Collectors Club. And it runs really, really well. I'm really loving this engine. It's a very, very nicely done model. And as you can see, I actually have the standard smokestack on it because that's how I'm used to seeing it. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat was a bit dry. It has, it has two other smokestacks, but I prefer this one on this engine specifically just because I've seen it with that. I've always seen it with that funnel, so yeah. And here's my Paragon 3 Brass Hybrid Chesapeake and Ohio Greenbrier number 614 and this is specifically the excursion service version and I've got to say it's a really nice model however it has momentary pauses like my s3 sometimes even though when I recently ran this one last time it didn't have momentary pauses but it did before still it's as I said it's a thing with Paragon 3 which this one is. So I'm actually considering having Tsunami 2 installed in this one, just to stop the pauses. Other than that, it's uh, it runs fine. It I'll, Also, I should mention, it's, very, it's not very smooth at medium speeds. At slow speeds, it's smooth, but at medium speeds, it's not very smooth. It, it's just like, it's kind of jerky. I may have to get that looked at soon too, just cause I want it to run smoother. And I actually got a new boiler front for it because when I first got it, the boiler front was missing the number plate. And I tried to get a new one. The, fr the first time I tried to get a new one, they sent me the wrong one. They sent me the one for the Presidential Express version. But then I just, then I just tore off the number plate and glued it on, but wait, where is it? Oh, okay, here's the, Here's what it originally had. See, it has a 
it does have the number plate, but that's actually from the other boiler front. That was for the Presidential Express version. And the, you can, see, if you look closely, you can see super glue on it because that's what I put it on with. But then I was like, you know what? I'll just get a new boiler front. What the heck? And it looks way better Next, now. Next, we have my Paragon 3 New York Central Niagara number 6018. Oh, by the way, this one came from Model Train stuff. And this one came from eBay in February of 2021. And I've got to say, it's a really, it's a really good model. And it runs good. And when I first got it, it was really, really jerky. I mean, the motor was just crappy. But then I had to send it off for a repair because I couldn't stand it. And it came back after three months. I mean, I sent it off to Broadway Limited. It hasn't, Im it improved, but it's still subtly jerky, but it's not as bad as it was before. Still though, the engine runs fine. And now here are my two Paragon 2 J1 Hudsons. The J1D Hudson, number 5291, and the J1E Hudson, number 5316. <coughs> this one came off of eBay, and this one came from a someone on the Broadway Limited Collectors Club. You see, I'm really proud to have the J1D Hudson with the centipede tender. I mean, because they're really hard to find now. But maybe someday, Broadway Limited will bring them back in Paragon 4. And this engine runs exceptionally well. I mean, I really love this engine. As I said, I'm really proud to have one. And as for 5316, this one has momentary pauses sometimes. I don't know why, it just does. So maybe I'll consider having Tsunami 2 installed in this one too, just so I can fix the problem. Also, it has a very shaky speaker. So I have to turn the volume down so that it's not as shaky. Nonetheless, these engines are really nice and they run fine. I mean, this one runs okay, but this one runs really good. And now we have my Paragon 4 Dreyfus Hudson, number 5453, in the 1938 scheme. I mean, I just like the ones with the blue stripes better. The 1938, it just, it's just nicer than the 1940 scheme. Still, though, I want to get both schemes. That way I have the whole spread, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and yeah, I bought this one in December of 2021. This is also a very exceptionally well-running model. And Broadway Limited did a great job with it, and it looks absolutely stunning. And it looks even better when it's pulling 20th Century Limited coaches, which I have by River Rossi. So yeah, I really love this engine. Next is an engine that I just bought last week. The Blue Line Pennsylvania J1. And for a while I've wanted this engine. And I finally have one. I mean, I'm really happy to have one. But there is one flaw with this engine. The headlight does not work. So soon I'm going to take it to a hobby shop and see if they can fix it, but... I assume that the he that the light bulb is probably burned out, or maybe there's a bad wire. I mean, who knows? The tender light works, though, so that means it has nothing to do with the decoder. And speaking of the decoder, much to my surprise, when I took it out of the box, the DCC plug was already plugged in. And it's, of course, set on address 3 by default. And I'm going to keep it on that address because I don't want to have to go through the trouble trying to reprogram two decoders. That's what I heard it is. It's dual decoders because there's a DCC plug in a DC decoder. That I think. I mean, that I think that's how it is. And this engine runs fine, but it could be better, though. I mean, what I'm saying is that at low speeds, it, it barely moves at the lowest speeds. But when I turn the speed up, it, will, it does move, though. It, it is able to pick up speed and everything. And sometimes the chuffing may be a bit wonky. That's also another flaw. But at least the engine runs. Other than that, it is a very 
I am liking this model so far. And now here's my Paragon 3 Pennsylvania Duplex, number 5541. This is another engine that runs exceptionally well, and I really love this engine. It's a very good runner, and, uh, <clears throat> and the headlight is pretty, pretty bright. It's an LED, and it, and it looks really nice when it's uh, in action. So does this one. But, um, so yeah, I'm really loving this engine. And now here's my Quantum or Paragon M1A number 6766. Now when I first got this model, the decoder was dead. It still had the Quantum decoder, of course. So I had to take it to be to have a new decoder installed. And now it has Tsunami 2, and it runs way better. It, it actually does run now. And if that wasn't enough, right after I got it fixed, the valve gear fell apart. So as you can see, I have it held together with a piece of wire. But soon I'm going to take it to a hobby shop and see if they can repair the valve gear. See if they have any parts to do so. But it is a but it is a real good model and it runs it runs great with a new decoder. Last but not least, we have my Pennsylvania GG1, my first ever electric locomotive. And this is also a really good runner. And I bought this one off of Factory Direct Hobbies for a really good price. And I figured why not have one since I have a Pennsylvania fleet going. This one I bought earlier this month, and I and I love it. So that's my whole collection of locomotives. Now I'm going to show you a few locomotives that I no longer have, and two of them that are on pre-order. Here's the Paragon 3 Union Pacific USRA Light Pacific, number 2893. I sold this one on eBay, and I sold it because I just figured I no longer wanted it. So I decided to get rid of it. So I no longer have that one. Next is the Paragon QSI New York Central J1E Hudson, number 5398. I bought this one in November of 2021, and it ran good, but I decided to sell that one because, well, I already have three other New York Central Hudsons. So I figured having that one would just make it too many, so I decided to sell it. Now here's the Paragon 3 Reading T1, number 2100, in the Iron Horse Ramble scheme. This one I bought in December of 2019, and this was my first ever Broadway Limited locomotive, and this is what started my collection. But I do kind of regret selling it because it was my first engine. But then again, I sold it because I didn't run it often, so I decided to... Well, I also sold it to make room for more engines to come. That was the case for other locomotives as well. So, yeah. Now, here's an engine I have on pre-order. It's the Texas and Pacific 610 in the Southern livery in the Paragon 4 Brass Hybrid series. And I pre-ordered it on Factory Direct Hobbies. And it's expected to come in November, but could be pushed to December because I contacted Broadway Limited Imports. And they told me it might be pushed back another month. But I am very excited to get this engine nonetheless. Here's another locomotive I pre-ordered. It's the Paragon 4 Commodore Vanderbilt. And I also pre-ordered this one on Factory Direct Hobbies. And it's expected to arrive in January of 2023. And I just can't say how excited I am to get this locomotive. It will make an awesome addition to my collection, especially since I have a New York Central fleet. So that's my entire Broadway Limited collection. Hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.